Well, email users are increasingly savvy about spotting scam messages, so scammers are always on the hunt for new ways to evade the delete button. This scam email, disguised as a funeral notification, reaches a new low. Debbie Bridgman from the BBB is with us today. Debbie, thanks for being with us. Anytime. This hey, scam. Yeah, this just does not look good at all. Well, it's not because, I mean, especially if you're expecting something, you know, and you see an email that says funeral notification, and then you go to open it, and it looks very professional because anybody could go to a funeral website and get their logo and then put mm -hmm. it on an email. So it all looks very legit, and then, it, of course, it says click here for more details on, you know, your person's service, and that's where they get you. There's international scammers that when you click on that link, they can download malware onto your computer and then get your personal information. Okay, so as a consumer or someone who's on the internet and you're looking at emails, just, I mean, what's the best, don't let the curiosity get to you? Well, exactly, and if you're expecting an announcement like that, you can always go to that funeral home's website. And even if you see something that pops up and it may, like even Tom Broussard with Broussard's Mortuary told me about the scam. You know, if you think it's legit, if you think you know, and that's the thing, it didn't have a person's name, it didn't have any direct information. I actually got one of these and my uncle had just passed away in North Carolina. So I was thinking, oh, okay, I'll be getting this. I don't know funeral homes in North Carolina. So I was like, hmm, I guess this is it. But it didn't have his name, it didn't have any specific things. So I was like, okay, no, I'm not gonna click on this. And that's what you should do pop-ups, you know, anything that, that you're not expecting, don't click on it. Um, look for typos, because a lot of these scammers are international, so you'll see a lot of grammatical errors. So if you see something like that, and anything that seems immediate, like, hurry, click here, if it seems that fast, no, that, that's some big red flags. You know, now that you brought up North Carolina, because I used to live there, and yesterday I noticed in my junk mail, there was a funeral notification about North Carolina, and I'm thinking, okay, is it somebody I know? Exactly. But it was in my junk mail, so I didn't bother opening it. So be really wary of that. Exactly, and especially, you know, senior citizens are the ones that fall prey to a lot of these scams, and of course, they may be the ones that may be expecting a funeral notification. So again, if somebody has passed, you think somebody has passed, you know, you can always go to that funeral home's website. It lists everybody that they're going to have services for. That's the best thing to do. Of course, you can always go to the Better Business Bureau at BBB.org and go online and check to see, is that funeral home a reputable business that you can trust. And really be on the lookout for emails that say attention immediately? Exactly. If it yeah. seems real fast, just like any deal, you know, if, if it's that fast and you can't like call someone to check on it, mm -hmm. it's probably too good to be true. All right, Debbie, great mm -hmm. insight on that. And I, I saw this <laughs> yesterday, as a matter of fact, and it didn't pop in my head until just now when you mentioned that. So, yeah. There you go. All right, for a Better Business Bureau, call 835 5348 if you have any questions or uh, any other issues you'd like to bring up. That's right. Give right. us a call. We're here to help. Have a good spring break. Thank you. I am. <laughs> I know you are. All right. Thanks a lot.